Unfortunately, it has been another violent weekend. Five people were shot in 59 minutes across Baltimore, including one man who was killed and a 10 year old boy who was shot in the leg. WJZ is live. Stetson Miller joins us with more on what happened and the efforts city leaders are taking to help in the days after this violence. Hey, Christina, five people were shot in just a matter of hours across Baltimore. Today's city leaders spoke about the persisting, the effects of the persisting violence in city residents and unveiled resources to help them deal with it. The latest round of gun violence in Baltimore left one man dead and sent four people to the hospital on Sunday morning, including a 10 year old boy. Police say that three men were shot during the first shooting on North Collington Avenue and East North Avenue around 12:14 in the morning. All of them had multiple gunshot wounds and were taken to a local hospital where one of the men was pronounced dead. Less than an hour later, around 1:13 a.m., the 10-year-old boy was shot in the leg in the backseat of his parents' car on North Glover and McKeldry Streets. He was also taken to a local hospital with a 32-year-old woman who was also shot. Both of them are in stable condition. We know the sound of gunshots and we know what it feels like to lose a loved one. Just hours before the shootings outside City Hall, Councilman Zeke Cohen and other community leaders spoke about the impact of the gun violence and unveiled mental health resources to help people address the trauma caused by it. Over 95 organizations have teamed up to provide services in mental health, legal counseling, trauma informed trainings violence prevention, and so much more. The group called Healing City Baltimore says communities across the city need those resources now more than ever to help them heal from the violence and also help them heal from the trauma caused by the pandemic and poverty. And they want people to reach out for help. We know that recovery is not only possible, but with an army like the one standing behind me, it is attainable. And you can head to HealingCityBaltimore.com to learn more about those resources. We're live at City Police Headquarters, Stetson Miller for WJZ.